Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tech Theory YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your lags and slowness in your Windows 11 PC. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all, you need to right click on the start button and go to settings. I'm gonna maximize it to see okay first you need to go to privacy and security in here go to general and disable all these uh, things and go back to privacy and security go to speech and turn off this thing and also go to privacy and security again Go to diagnostic and feedback, disable it, and go back to privacy and security again. Now you can disable app permissions. If you are not using lo location, you can disable it. I am not using, so I am gonna go into it and click disable. It's already disabled. Uh, go back to privacy and security. Let's go to camera. If you are using a laptop and you need your camera to be working, just make it don't do anything here. So I'm not using the camera in my PC. I don't have a webcam, so I'm gonna click off. Uh, again, go to privacy and security. Microphone uh, voice no activation. Uh, turn this on. Nothing to do. Notification if you are no, not using Windows notification, turn it off. I'm going to turn it off. Privacy and security again and account info. Go into account info and click off and go to private and security again. Um, contacts, contacts. I'm not using the contacts, so turn off. Privacy and security again phone calls turn it off because uh, we are not using phone calls in windows again call history turn it off go to privacy and settings email if you are using windows uh, email client or any other application to check your emails don't do anything here uh, i'm not using windows uh, email client so i'm gonna click off privacy and security again and task task turn it off i'm gonna i have already turned it off okay privacy and security um messaging turn it off i have already turned it off go back to privacy and security and radios Turn it off. I have already turned it off. And go back to privacy and security. Uh, app diagnostic. Turn it off. Go to privacy and security. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, one more thing. This diagnostic feedback. If you turn it off you will not uh, get like inside the bills uh, if you want inside the bills turn it on on back uh, otherwise uh, you will be able to update windows 11 after the actual release is finished okay um that's it for privacy and security the second thing you need to do is go into search uh, search for advanced advanced system settings click on it and in here i'm gonna go to here in here go to settings and choose best performance this will uh, reduce animations uh, and all those uh, effects to get better performance so i'm gonna click this and click apply and click OK. 
the third thing is to disable startup because start up, when you are using your machine for a very long time you install a bunch of softwares those softwares will put uh, their their app into startup book because then uh, when you op, uh, boot up your pc you that application will be automatically start up so but we don't need all the uh, application to be starting up when using your pc so i'm gonna right click on start bar and go to task manager in here i'm gonna go to startup as you can see i have a bunch of uh, application starting up right now i have disabled these things and this is not enabled so um, i'm not using microsoft teams in this pc so i'm gonna uh, what you need to do is if you see an application which you are not using very often and don't need to start it up when you when you boot it up your pc okay uh, so microsoft teams is i'm not uh, using it on uh, this pc so i'm gonna right click it and click disable as you can see it's disabled now the next time you uh, after restart your machine the next time you boot it up this application will not start uh, start up automatically okay anyway you have you can always go into application and uh, op uh, run the application again but it's not it's not gonna start it up when you boot it up okay um so you need to disable all the unnecessary application you are in your machine and you can see the startup impact if it is low that means it's not gonna affect that much but if it is high like this microsoft edge it will affect your boot time as you can see i have see last bios time is 6.5 when you disable all things you will be able to see this last bios time will be reduced so it will be starting up very quickly okay uh, that's it for today's video i hope this video helpful for you to fix all the issues in windows 10 whether your machine is slow and those kind of stuff uh, if that helps you just click the like button and subscribe to this channel if you like this video and see you next time with another cool video bye bye